Hello everyone, this is Damon with Easy Green Screen, and in this video I'm going to show you how to save a preset in Easy Green Screen. This is really simple to do, and the reason why you'd want to save a preset is if you have certain settings that you want to apply to more than one image, it'll save you time. And in this image, I've made some adjustments to correct for some green spill that was on the side of the face, and if I wanted to apply that to a different image, it would be easiest to do that with the preset. So if I go back to the main menu, that's where you'll find your presets, and you make the adjustments you want to make first, then go into Manage Presets, you just give your preset a name, and I'll call it Green Spill Fix. And then you'll get a pop-up window that asks you if you want to use Auto Spill Correction Opacity or if you want to turn Auto Spill Correction Opacity off. I'm going to turn Auto Spill Correction Opacity off for this particular preset. And what that is asking you is this one particular adjustment in the Spill Correction Opacity. Usually Easy Green Screen does a pretty good job of getting this close. And if you have images that were shot with different lighting conditions, they will often require different spill correction opacity settings. So if you want Easy Green Screen to auto compensate for a variety of images with different lighting conditions, then it's best to leave the auto spill correction opacity on. If you have repeatable lighting for the images you're doing and you have manually set that spill correction opacity to exactly where you want it, then you'll tell it when you get asked that question to turn it off and that way your preset will use that exact value that you set here. Other than this value, the preset will use every other value exactly what you set it to. Um, the exception is in the composition, the presets don't save any composition settings. So if you've added a backdrop, um, positioned your foreground or background, or changed your lighting to your foreground or background, none of this is stored in the preset. This, these presets are only for the extraction settings and it has nothing to do with the composition. So anything you've in these top three buttons you've set, it also does not do anything for your keep or remove areas. So if you've manually lassoed an area and told it to add that to the foreground, um, those areas you select, those are not part of the presets either. So it's just these top three buttons, which are all your extraction settings. Also, your presets will be um, either single mask or dual mask, and they're stored in different folders. So if in this case we did a dual mask extraction, and this preset that we just made is only available when we are in a dual mask extraction. And the same goes for single mask. If you've done a single mask extraction and saved a preset, that preset will only be available when you run a single mask extraction. So I'm just going to exit out here and show you with this preset now. I've already got my lasso made, so I'm just going to do a dual mask extraction. And then I'm going to show you we've got um, I'll zoom in here so we can watch it when we apply this preset. And you see that area that had that green spill that was partially erased and the spill needs corrected for? Well, if we have our preset, after we do the extraction, we just go to the preset we just created, and it's going to automatically apply all of those settings. So pretty simple, and it will save you some time. Thanks for watching. I hope you've learned something. And if you are interested at all in Easy Green Screen, please be sure to visit our website. That is easygreenscreen.com.